is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm going to do things a little differently on this show today. Stan Harley will be our guest at the break talking to us about some cycle work that he's looking at. But the main thing I wanted to do is I put this chart up, which is the red line is my AI uh, neural network. It's a simple neural network. I was introduced to it many years ago by Dennis Regan, who passed away two years after I met him. But during those two years, uh, Jim Twentyman and I, and Jimmy Elder uh, worked with him very, very, uh, what do you call it, uh, intensely <laughs> to try to find something that was, uh, you know, give us an idea what the markets were doing. But this was the type of thing that he would send out. Now, this is when we had thermal faxes. And uh, what he did was he got in touch with Jim, um, Steve Shapiro some, somehow. And Steve uh, came, he lived at the, down at the beach. I lived up on the top of the hill there. Pismo, and uh, he would come up just about every day. He brought this fax, and he said, "Look, this is what the market's supposed to do today." It was a, pretty much like that, just like this, and and it, it worked. And so I had a phone number there. I called Dennis, and uh, um, it was about two hours after the trade was going on, and this is when we were trading big handles. In other words, one point in the S and P was worth 500, not 50 points like it is now. I had four of them and on. I'd made a couple thousand bucks. I was pretty happy, so I called him up and he said, hey, that was a pretty good call. I said, uh, thank you. Thanks for letting me know that. And, and he said, you stupid SOB. He said, you ain't got brains enough to be a trader. Don't even f use the F word. I, don't even bother me. And uh, he hangs up and I said, I need this like I need uh, whatever, you know, um, 12 fingers on my right hand, whatever it happened to be. I said, this, I'm, hit, I'm done with this. A couple of days go by, and uh, I got another fax. This time it came to me instead of Steve, and it was the same type of prediction. This one was for the British pound. It also worked pretty good, but I didn't call back. Twenty mine had talked. Twenty mine and I had talked about this, and we'd work with people like this in the past. Very difficult. Okay, so basically we've got Peter from Park City, Utah, on the line. Pedro, how are you doing, my friend? I am good, Larry. How are you? How's that? How's that soybean crop up there in the mountains of Utah? Oh yeah, They're no, no it's so Idaho. You're in snow. Idaho, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> you're in Idaho. No, is it Utah. Park City? Park, Park City is Utah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's where no, the Olympics there's, were. There's, yeah, there's I remember so much that. Snow on the ground, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, I heard that when they almost, melt. Oh my God! Nine hundred inches at Alta this year. Nine hundred. Has that ever been that yeah. high before? No. No. Wow. Even Deer Boy, Valley that... and Park City, uh, they're breaking 600 today. So, wow. no, these are all, way all time records. Wow. Boy, right, that's crazy. When that but, stuff yeah, I wanted melts. to look at the, uh, the soybean. It went up today, tapped the yep. 1500 and failed again, pulled right mm -hmm. back to the 382. Yes, uh, it did. The next try up, do you think it breaks it? Yes, sir. I think I'm, I'm very bullish to grains. Peter, I'm just waiting to buy them again. They've been pretty good to me. I missed a little piece of the sun, uh, of the action, but we've got that last piece. So uh, today's low was important because, it, like you mentioned, it was a 382, and I think it's got a real chance now. I might have to buy a breakout, and I'm doing some work on buying breakouts. What I've got to be able to do, though, is I've got to communicate it to the people that, look, if this breakout doesn't work, this is what you have to do. In other words, most people don't like to do the work, Peter. So I'm going to have to do it for them and say, look, this is what's going to happen. If it doesn't happen this way, it's wrong. Get out of Dodge. But right. you wouldn't believe how many people don't get out of Dodge. <laughs> they keep praying. Right. No, and, I'm know. thinking the same thing. I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. missed the 1480. I'm like, all right. Yeah. And usually, usually, at least I've seen over, you know, there are truly yeah. no flat tops. I mean, if it's going to go, it's going to go. Yep. But it sometimes takes two or three shots at it. Yep, and now we've got for sure. two up there, and this will be the third if we go up there again. And I'm like, hmm. 
Well, that's what I'm waiting for. Tomorrow, the next day, uh, we're being, you know, we've got Wednesday, Thursday coming in. Hopefully by Friday, we'll have a pretty good idea. But that was a perfect A. In fact, I've got it here. I'll bring it up here. It was a perfect A, B, C, D last night. I said, ah, if I can't sell this, I can't sell anything. So I, I was watching it. Uh, it was about uh, when I got up at about 3.30 this morning. And it just made that perfect A, B, C, D right up there. And it came right down to the 3A2. And I actually bought it there, Peter, just for a day trade. And I got out of it just a little while ago. But uh, that's what I'm watching. I think if it can do that, then, uh, you know, we'll be in good shape. I got another one for you since sure. I got you on the horn. Uh, the Euro. Um, yes. It, uh, it teased me, and then I got out of it too quick uh, this morning. I was, had, had to deal with the kids. So they, I, I took took my couple tick profit and was like, oh, well. And then, of course, it rolled within the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But um, yes. I was curious what your thoughts are Um yeah, well, the euro, do, yes, we, uh, do we correct yeah, I, from here pretty oh, significantly? I, 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 or is I, think, this, I, I think know. significantly. I'll post a chart here. This is the, the long-term chart. It's as perfect as can be, and it's went yeah. right up mm -hmm. to the 61% retracement. It's backed off. Has it, like you say, it only moved down about four or $500, but you know it hasn't busted out to the upside. If it gets above that 110.50 level, then you, know, you can't stand in front of it right now. This is a very, very significant top, in my opinion. And the fact that it was it was able to break 240 points off of that spot, and all we've been able to do so far is rally back to 3A2. So oh, that exactly. Me, that's what I, that's yeah. exactly what I did. I shorted it. Yeah. it uh, uh, was it in the future? Is it uh, uh, 10, 10, and like 11, yeah. something like yeah. that, 110, right. 12? Yeah. So that's, I think, in the right show. If we get above 111, then, you know, get out of Dodge, as they say, and let it go by itself, because right now it's acting okay. So we'll we'll see if it's going to continue doing that, but that's what the, start, the charts look like so far. Oh, great. Now, it's kind of what I'm thinking, but uh, holding my breath at the moment. But <laughs> I like hey, little, um, hope, little hope, good luck little in, hope uh, and praise. Vegas. Always Hopefully good. they'll have you come down for like a three-day one. <laughs> Yeah, that would be good. I I'd like to do I I like to do one day. I mean, we're, I'm only going to do like three hours, which yeah. is a you know that's yeah. like a walk in the park. But I've got some friends coming in just to. Of course, they like to gamble, so I think they're coming in to gamble, and then we're going to go out to dinner. So I get to see friends I haven't seen in a while, which is fun. And oh, that's great. Money show people treat treat me pretty good, so I'll be all right. One of these days, I'm going to come up to see you up there in Park City. Yeah, and likewise, I'm going to make it to either Tucson or Vegas. You're, you're always <laughs> well, always welcome down here, Peter, for sure. Okay. All right, sounds good, Larry. I'll talk yeah, to you yeah. soon. Thank you so much right. for calling in, folks. Yep, okay, you're... folks, uh, we're we're going to be looking at here in the next moment or two. We we've got to take a little break here, but uh, I wanted to uh, mention about the soybeans one more time because um, uh, let me get that up here to bring that chart up because you know what I'm going to do here we got a break coming up here real quickly so I'm going to take a few seconds here if you have any questions it's 877-927-6648 and I'll be happy to answer them for you uh, Stan Harley will be our guest at the half hour break and uh, which will be a lot of fun and uh, I'm hoping uh, we're going to have Mike Moore as our guest here on um, when we're going to have that well very soon here okay Ah, good. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I do believe with a little bit of luck and some prayers, we have Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly, on the horn in the house. Is that true, Tim? On the phone. I did what the man said, tried the toll-free number, and it worked. It's amazing. Shut the front <laughs> door and raise the rent. Tim, before we talk about this uh, solar eclipse that we have coming up, could you mind telling the folks – because everybody's been asking about how you're doing and what you went through. I mean, it was you. We almost lost you a couple times, didn't we? Oh well, that's, yes, but uh, I'm still kicking here, <laughs> so it's a good thing. No, I, I contracted uh, a, a rare disease called Guillain-Barré syndrome, and I actually had that 21 years ago. It's a neurological disease disease that paralyzes you from head to toe. And uh, they told me 21 years ago that I, could, uh, I, I was lucky to have survived and would not have to deal with it again, but lo and behold, managed to get it a second time and uh, been out of commission for a few months because of that. Right now, I'm, I'm recovering slowly and I'm working with some physical therapists and getting my body back uh, uh, and getting some, some basic motion down. And my head is still working. My brain is spitting out all kinds of weird stuff. So... I'm glad we can get some kind of connection made here today. But that's really good. And anytime you're ready to get back to your full-time status here of every two weeks, we would sure love to have you. Uh, we've Absolutely. got something we'll really big, up. really big right now with this eclipse, isn't it? It's something special. Yeah, we, we, we've got a really unusual uh, week ahead of us here or in the middle of it right now. Uh, and coming up after tomorrow on, on Thursday, we do have a solar eclipse. And then on Friday, the following day, uh, the 21st, we have Mercury going retrograde. So 
Uh, that'll be in effect through the middle of, 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 of May. Uh, but the, the combination of these two intensifies things incredibly here. Uh, the solar eclipse itself uh, will not be visible in the, the U.S. Uh, it, uh, if you're in uh, Indonesia or Western Australia, you might be able to get a glimpse of it uh, there. Uh, but it's uh, a very, very powerful phenomenon, uh, nevertheless, and we're expecting some interesting market uh, results. I'll tell you what I, I did was put together a little cheat sheet, uh, and if uh, you want to jot this down, you can get a free copy of it. I'm sorry, I don't have a slide to share with you with the address, but it is uh, if you go online to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash S-E-C-S 234. And that's all caps there, the second half of it, S-E-C-S for Solar Eclipse Cheat Sheet. And that's 234 after that, all one word. So bit.ly slash S-E-C-S 234. Uh, and that will give you a link to download our PDF uh, file absolutely free, uh, which is kind of a quick cheat sheet for some of the facts you need to know about the solar eclipse and how you might want to work with it in your, your trading as well. Mm -hmm. So glad to, to share that. Uh, uh, we have a question, time. Tim, from one of our listeners. And sure. that is uh, on an eclipse like this, you know, it's due to be coming in Thursday. Like most things astrological, they have an orb, usually a day or two on either side. Does this have the same type of sequence? Actually, it has an even more important sequence. We, we get solar eclipses like this, and the effects are all, very often uh, far beyond the date of the eclipse itself. Uh, we do want to yeah. pay attention to this. We do expect to see a market reaction uh, kicking in, especially with the combination with Mercury retrograde. Uh, so we're looking for some price consolidation kicking in toward the end of the week here. But that eclipse point uh, the, it will occur at 29 degrees of Aries, and that's going to remain sensitive in the zodiac. So as things line up with that, uh, even during the next couple of months here, we can see activations of that eclipse point and it will still play out in, in the markets. Uh, so it's a little bit more complicated than, than, uh, than meets the eye, uh, but we certainly want to pay attention right around the date of the eclipse, uh, for a couple of days before, a couple of days after, and then it can uh, pop up and, and uh, uh, impact things uh, uh, at various intervals even after that. Wow, this is great. Listen, the main thing is, Bubba, we want you to get better, okay? Because... Uh, Thanks you've so you've helped. You've helped. You've helped. A, you've helped a lot of people, and boy, they really were concerned about you. You know, well, many I, people. I appreciate many people, all the, the people that contacted uh, me, yeah. and and we had a GoFundMe campaign. Still yeah, got the, yeah. the, the the hospital bills coming in, but uh, yeah. uh, we you know there, there's a, a lot to deal with at lots of levels yeah. there. And uh, the the big challenge for me, of course, was yeah. I was paralyzed, unable to communicate. I couldn't uh, manage a computer keyboard or anything else. Uh, wow. and that went on. So little by little, I'm getting back to, to normal, or uh, whatever the heck that looks like. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, but uh, we'll, of, we'll plan for uh, some regular time together here. I think within another week or so, we can I, kind of take I, a look at that. I certainly hope uh, so. Uh, a lot of people uh, gave me some several thousands of dollars uh, to give to you, but unfortunately, the horse that I bet on in the fifth race at Aqueduct didn't come in, so I, I maybe they'll that give me some more. Is, maybe is the next race. a real race, beast. Uh, you gotta watch yes. out for that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Listen, thank you, and we're gonna have you. When you're ready, just give me the jingle, okay? Because we okay, we love we'll your. We'll do that. And get something on the calendar here real you soon. So you, thanks to everybody up. for your your good wishes, your prayers, and and it really meant a lot. And and. Uh, uh, it takes all, all, all the minds working together to make this stuff happen. So uh, I'm very, very grateful for the, the big outpouring that, that uh, came about through that. And, uh, uh, and, and again, uh, be sure to uh, connect with that uh, uh, cheat sheet. It's bit.ly slash S-E-C-S, Solar Eclipse Cheat Sheet 234, and that will get you the link to download it. Thank you, my friend. Listen, you be safe, and hopefully you'll see some sometime in 2023. We'll get down there and say hi to you. Oh, I would love that. So we yeah, can go. it's been a long time uh, since we've broken bread. You know, that's for I sure. Know. It's always and a lot the of bread fun. is getting stale, so come on down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks we'll for, talk soon, my friend. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Timbo's Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. We've got another break coming up here, and then we have Stan Harley. I have to share with you something that just happened, those of you that like 3A2, and we certainly do. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, we did get some nice uh, uh, 
donations for uh, Tim during this time, and uh, I was certainly happy to send that on. But anyway, this is the crude oil. You notice here this little 382? Well, that was the 382 off the back here high that we made here seven days ago. Bang, right on the money, folks, and it's already broken uh, roughly $600 uh, from that point. So those that like 382, and we certainly do, you got to keep an eye on those because um, they don't lose often, but when they do, you're out of them in a hurry, and if you stay in them in a while and they work, they make some pretty serious money. So let's keep our powder dry and wait and see how these things line up. Uh, we're going to have the break here, and in one minute, and then from that time, we're going to have uh, Stan Harley uh, back on the line. But I wanted to share uh, one other Kent Duncan story. Uh, he ran Ken Duncan rec Ken Dunn Records in Hollywood for many years, and God, he had so many gold and platinum albums. But uh, we were in, in his office in Hollywood one day, and I was sitting at the desk with him, and in walked Mike, Mick Jagger, believe it or not, at the Rolling Stones. And uh, Steve, Ken had a, a young girl working for him, and uh, I'll have to tell that story at another time, which is probably good because I sh probably shouldn't for repeat it. We'll be right back with Stan. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley on the line, Harley Stock Market Letter. Is that correct? We do indeed, Larry. Ah, oh, what a lucky day. Twice in one day. This is what we call a lucky day. Anyway, um, do you have a chance to post those charts that we were talking about on this previous show? 
Absolutely. Let me uh, show you what I am uh, looking at right now. Okay. Here is a uh, chart of the S&P 500 going back uh, several years. And this is just kind of a recap, Larry. This, mm -hmm. uh, this reflects what I found is the dominant intermediate cycle in the stock market. It spans 34 weeks, eight months. That cycle, it, it contracts and expands like all cycles, but nominally uh, over the long haul, uh, we tend to see important pivotal turns about every 34 weeks, eight months. If, wow. you, uh, if you take the, uh, the last occurrence in the pattern, which was the low we saw on October 13th of last year, you add 34 weeks, eight months, mm -hmm. you get mid-June, just two months from now. Um, okay. So, well, before you get a low, obviously you have to have a high. So that's what we're stocking right now. Um, this next chart is uh, something I just printed off a few moments ago. Um, this is a recurring pattern uh, related to the one I've shown with you in some of our past discussions. This is a chart of the Dow and each of these purple lines are separated by 40 trading days, mm -hmm. plus or minus a couple. And uh, like clockwork for the last several years, um, at 40 trading day intervals, plus or minus a couple left or right, we've seen important pivotal turns. It could be a high, it could be a low. The next one is due ideally, drum roll today. So wow. if, 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 his, if history is any guide, that would suggest we're right in the heart of the envelope for the next 40-day cyclical turn. And of course, since we're going up, that would suggest that we would be making a high right in here. And uh, the next one uh, is due ideally in mid-June, which is exactly where I'm looking for a low. Wow, that's really good. Stan, I have a question. Uh, the fact that the VIX index, uh, uh, I saw on Bloomberg today, made a uh, reading that uh, showing that the people have been less bearish than at any time in the last two years. Is that, do you look at those types of things? I do, uh, I, I do. Um, the volatility index is a component in the options pricing model. There are a number of them. The most commonly used one, of course, mm -hmm. is Black-Scholes. And one of the components in that complex calculation is the implied volatility of the stock market. Um, and so through an iterative process, one can compute what the implied volatility is because we know what the price is, we know the time to expiration, we know the strike price. So we do the calculations over and over and back and forth, back and forth. And so it's possible to derive the volatility component within Black-Scholes model. That's what we call VIX, V-I-X. Mm -hmm. Simply put, that expresses the expectation among the investment community as to what we think the volatility in the stock market for the ensuing 12 months is likely to be. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, because the stock market, uh, not all markets, but the stock market tends to make spike bottoms and rounded tops. So volatility tends to spike uh, at, at troughs in the stock market. Uh, now, the opposite, of course, is true. Volatility t tends to reach a low point at market highs. And uh, it's lower now than it has been since uh, January the 4th, 2022, which is the date at which the S&P made its all-time high. They, so they said that on Bloomberg. They were showing that a chart, and I said it looked really oh, interesting. Really? So that's okay. good. That's what I wanted to I, know. I yeah. was not aware of that, but that, that's something that I track and shown in my own report. Okay. But absolutely, it's not a precise timing tool to the day, but it does put us in zone for the expectation to expect some kind of pivotal reversal. reversal. Now, a uh, little bit more backdrop on the VIX. Typically, spike highs, and I say typically in italics, uh, I find don't tend to correspond with the exact low of the move. They tend to be a momentum low, then there's some kind of rally, and then a lower price low that sees a lower low in VIX. Uh, but nevertheless, um, you know, we have a, a pretty, pretty decent uh, auxiliary tool to help us in timing the stock market. Okay, yeah, that, that's certainly, I like that 39-day cycle, though. Gee, that's a... That's been around for so people have to use that in their uh, timing, don't they? I mean, that's you know. Well, I, mean, I, <laughs> yeah, I have talked about this for not just years but decades. 
Yes, it's I been, know. <laughs> it's been the dominant cycle in the stock market for a long time. Now, at some point, and that some point usually comes when Stan Harley comes on Larry's show and starts talking about it. <laughs> the cycle, <laughs> uh, the cycle gods are up there, and they're going to make Stan Harley look foolish. <laughs> They're going to pull the knobs, turn the cranks. I know this never happens to you, but it no. does happen to me. No, never. <laughs> They're going to make this thing stop working. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been there, been there and done that too many been times. Been there and done that. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Anyway, you want to tell us a little bit about this right translation and left translation sure. that you're looking at? A absolutely. <laughs> so we're watching, we're watching for this thing to stop working today. Uh, but on to newer and better things. Let's talk about translation. Another favorite topic of mine. Um, we typically see right and tra left translation, sometimes center translation, simply put uh, in, within the context of any kind of a cycle, and I'm showing the trading cycles here uh, on the S&P index. We tend to see the crest occur to the right of the midpoint in a rising market environment. That's called right translation. I've abbreviated that, done the abbreviation there, RT. Conversely, in a declining environment, the crest or the high point, the high price, tends to occur to the left of the midpoint. That's called left translation, characteristic of a declining market environment. Um, the S&P in the last trading cycle uh, exhibited right translation by one trading day. The other four components among what I call the big five, the big five Dow Industrials, Dow Transports, the NASDAQ Comp, the New York Comp, and the uh, NASDAQ. Uh, I track all five of those, and only one among the five made right translation in the prior trading cycle. The other components either exhibited center or left. That tells me we're on borrow time here, and this thing's running out of juice on the upside. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is to the present time, and I'm theorizing we're gonna see two more lows between now and mid-June, one in late May, and the other one in mid-June. So if we were to top out right in here, um, we would, uh, among the other indices uh, and the S&P, the weight of the evidence would be tipped again towards left translation if that were to occur. Uh, interestingly, the Dow did not go higher today compared to two days ago, but the S&P did go a little bit higher. So there's some divergence. Can't make a lot of that for just two trading days, but I look at little things like that. <laughs> Yeah, you do. That's what that's what you're famous for, and you're good at it. Well, sure. thank you. Um, it, it's a work in progress for all yeah. of us, um, and you can never get enough data. That's what I say. I'm more data is better. The more, the better. Of course, then you suffer from paralysis paralysis of analysis too. Oh, so it's a two-edged uh, sword. Yeah, eventually you got to yeah. make a decision. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And okay, we'll pick this up after the break. You bet. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, young man. Absolutely, Larry. Uh, here is a, uh, a chart of the S&P 500 that I spoke to briefly uh, about an hour ago when you and I were on the air. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, a chart that goes back um, to the middle of 2021. But the important takeaway from here that I found is counting forward from the all-time high in the S&P by the Lucas number series which is something, as you know, I, I, I put a great deal of emphasis on, has, has coincided with, uh, with all of the, all, most of the pivotal turns we've seen since then uh, in, in terms of Lucas numbers. Um, the Lucas numbers, uh, 18, 29, 76, 123, 199, 322, and so on. I know them from memory because I use them all the time. Um, uh, Take note of the uh, April 21st high of last year. That was approximately 76 trading days from the uh, from the all-time high in the S&P. Uh, two times 76 is 152, and that coincided with the August high of last year within two trading days. Wow. Uh, 199, Lucas, uh, was the low we saw in October within four trading days. Um, Fast forward to today, if you add 322, which is the very next sequence in the Lucas number series, 322, in terms of trading days, when added to the January 4th high, equals April 18th, today. So the, wow. the, uh, the analysis would suggest that today, plus or minus four trading days, is very plausibly going to see a pivotal turn and because the market has been going up i would uh, i would posture that it's going to be a market high and then from a high that is occurring sometime between now and the next zero to four trading days i think we'll head south into that mid-june time period for the next 34 week cycle bottom that i'm anticipating okay that makes pretty good sense now you, you had one saying. other chart uh, I, I think that was it, uh, Larry. I th okay. I think that was it. All right. Yeah. Just good. Good. Folks, uh, there's some contact information on, on me. Well, I can say unequivocally that if you're wrong this time, we once been a pleasure knowing you, but you will not be invited <laughs> back again. 
<laughs> nothing like, nothing like uh, a little extra pressure, huh, Chief? <laughs> hey, Stan, <laughs> thanks for joining us, buddy. I, I really do appreciate it. And, you know, you have to take everything tongue-in-cheek, which we've been doing for the last 40-some, what, five, six decades for me, four decades for you. So keep the faith. We'll have you on again really soon, okay? And thanks for doing the second show today. It was very, very important. Absolutely, Larry. My pleasure. You bet. Stan Harley, folks, at the Harley Stock Market Letter. And we'll get on here to another chart here in just a moment that we'll be able to chat about. Hold on. Bear with me here, folks. And we'll get another one up here to look at. Well, the number that we were looking at back here, the market has backed off only slightly uh, from that prediction that I had made a little bit earlier. Uh, the, my, the, pro, the AI program uh, made it and it was it hasn't made a higher high let's put it that way it hasn't gone anywhere but that's pretty much it the main thing is that the S&P has spent only two points above the 382 retracement of this move today uh, that was at uh, 4178 and a quarter and uh, it's been up to 4181 uh, I believe so and it's a tiny bit below that right now so that's telling you that the market is a tad weaker the Nasdaq is also a little bit weaker and I'll certainly be change, uh, checking with these bank stocks to see how uh, they did tomorrow because I want to be able to, to see what they're going to be doing. Now, tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And on, on Friday, we're going to have uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on. So that'll be, uh, be uh, really a lot of fun to do. Uh, I have a couple of ideas uh, for this fall. I might be doing a a two-day uh, seminar here in Tucson, Arizona with, uh, with uh, hold on, something, the old cash register's ringing. <laughs> give, me, give me a break here to see what's ringing. Oh, we're getting a little bit of weakness in the stock market. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Color me happy, boys and girls. Color me happy. Bring out the old, oh, it's breaking pretty good. That's what we like to see, if you're short. Anyway, and I am. And, and you know, folks, let me, let me, someone asked a question about that 382 in the S&P. Just give me one second and I'll, I'll get it up here. It actually went to the 50%, so hold on one second, and we will take a quick look at it. It only takes a minute, and it did go to the 50%. I didn't realize that the last – I did get to the 81 level, but I didn't realize that was the 50% level. And, of course, uh, they don't always work, but when they do, and when they do, it makes it look pretty good. But anyway, that's where we were, and uh, I think this is a pretty significant top in here. Uh, for many, many reasons. And, of course, Stan added some others with that 39-day cycle. That VIX index is uh, at an all-time uh, low level uh, from uh, two years ago. So, uh, no, a year and a half ago. So I think it's important that we pay really close attention to uh, what's happening here, you know, with these, uh, with these markets. We've got an hour to go, and it's always a lot of fun as we go through these things. I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to mention uh, I'm getting ready to go to uh, Las Vegas, and I have uh, I, I have I don't have any of the clothes that I had at Drexel because I couldn't get in could couldn't get into those clothes. But I have to tell you the story when I first went to work with Drexel in August of '76, they sent me to New York for two weeks of training because I had to get past the. Um, the broker's exam, which took about 20 minutes back in those days. You put your name, address, and phone number. If you got two out of three, you got a license, but it's a lot different now. Over the year, I, I had six licenses, but the first thing I did when I got to Drexel, they put me up at the Plaza Hotel right at Central Park. Boy, I wasn't used to that kind of opulence, folks. The very first day, the secretary picked me up and took me to a haberdashery store in uh, Manhattan that handled Hickey Freeman suits. They were like $1,000 a piece back in those days. They bought me five suits, different colors, stripes, 12 custom-made shirts, ties, shoes, and slacks, and, and three blazers. I mean, I don't know how much money they spent on me. but it, and, I, and I said, why did you spend this much money on me before I even made a dime? And he says, well, we know you're going to do okay. So I had all these clothes uh, all those years. They were mine to keep, of course, and I did. But uh, a lot of memories uh, behind that, folks. I mean, it was really exciting. The very first night that I went to dinner uh, in, in, uh, with the guys from uh, uh, Drexel in New York, we were eating at the La Paraguay. What does that mean? Uh, I can't remember. Is it not? Yeah, La Paraguay is a French restaurant. And as we went in, the, uh, the very first table was Marge Everett, who owned the uh, New York Mets. 
and uh, the next table over was Jacqueline Onassis and Jack and, and Aristotle Onassis were there at their restaurant and I had my first taste of escargot and I eat them every time I mean I was a little country boy from Indiana we used to eat those things with garlic and, and everybody thought we were crazy but when you go to New York they were ten dollars uh, for just six of them but uh, anyway guys say I've been so lucky boys and girls and you're, you're part of my luck I mean I get to do this every single day and have a lot of fun and I thank you all for joining me and stuff. I know some of you guys are lucky. I'm really good. That's it. Hey, tomorrow's another day. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we have the stocks are still down on the day. And uh, we've got the uh, currencies are up on the day. That means the U.S. dollar is under retreat a little bit. And then also we have the, uh, hold on one second, I want to double check something. And that is the fact that the, uh, 
what was the other one? Oh, natural gas is still acting pretty strongly. Gold and silver are still strongly up on the day. Gold at 2016 and silver at uh, 25 and change. Boy, folks, there's one thing I would never do, and that is I wouldn't sell silver up in here because there's just – that chart looks like it did in 1978 when silver broke out of $8 an ounce on its way to $54 an ounce. and. I rode that puppy up a long way. I was a very happy camper back in. I'm happy all the time. What are you talking about? Anyway, that's pretty much it. I've got other stories about my days at Drexel that I'll share with you over the weeks. And because I'm not going to do an uh, an autobiography, it's just too much uh, effort. And uh, I will be able to tell some stories and stuff that uh, that I can remember. The good thing about what I do do is I try to tell the truth because my grandma said if you tell the truth at ten. You don't have to remember what you said it to. So that's what I have. It's my Dr. Pepper uh, well, view of life. So tell the same thing at 10 that you do it to, and you're going to be okay. Because you just can't tell one lie, folks. One lie leads to two lies. And uh, sometimes you have to do it to keep people from being hurt, but that's neither a story that I don't want to get into it. Okay. How much time we have got to build? Ooh, time is really going fast here. We only got about a few seconds left. Tomorrow, our guest will be Jeff Hughes. On Friday, our guest will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Try to do something nice for your uh, friends and relatives if you can, or strangers, whatever it is, because you can't take it with you, folks. Be like Bob Hope. Make sure that your lax check bounces. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 